Finnish horse about? Uh, yes, it's it's been great. We played four shows in the last weekend, and uh, it was nice. You know, we've been in the studio, and it's nice to get to the places. We, we haven't played shows in many many months, so it was really nice to have an opportunity to play with audience again. So it was really nice. Yeah, after being stuck in the studio for yeah. all yeah. these weeks, then yeah. back to play yeah. again. It was nice. Yeah, it was nice, yeah. And we played in all, it was the first show, and we, mm -hmm. uh, it's always great to play there. Yeah. Like a couple of years ago, we showed it a live video in all, mm -hmm. it was okay. nice. So I think every time we play in all, it's something special for me. Okay. Yeah. Right. Uh, so, um, do you plan or have you played some new stuff uh, for the shows? Uh, we played one show. Uh, what? Metal Hearts this time. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Um, so, um, have you played or do you plan to play some new songs um, on this finished tour? Uh, yes, we played one new song. Okay. And uh, we just wanted to try how it works. Mm -hmm. And it went really well. We don't want to play too many songs because people are recording and putting yeah. into it. So we don't want to spoil the album. But uh, I was really nervous, of course, when we yeah. played it first time in, in Oval, but it went great. And I think it's going to be an awesome live song. Mm -hmm. Okay, so how did your crowd react? Yeah, I think it's really difficult to crowd because they haven't heard it before. Mm -hmm. And I think everyone was like listening, but it's really yeah. hard to party if you uh, hear yeah, the song. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 But I heard some reactions, and uh, I think it's also positive. But of course, it's really, really hard to the audience to hear the song. Yeah, of course. Maybe do, do one more focusing on the song and mm -hmm. more attentive. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So. But I think this new song, it's it's, it's really powerful and uh, it gives some kind of idea what we are trying to uh, to say with, with the new album. Mm -hmm. Okay, we'll see. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah. Okay, so yeah, let's talk about this upcoming album. Mm -hmm. uh, so you hit the studio in September, so is the recording done now? Yeah, it's done. Okay. And it's already mixed, I think, so okay. I think only thing what it it needs to do is mastery. Mm -hmm. okay. and, and there's gonna be, I think in the album, it, there's gonna be like nine songs, maybe ten songs. Mm -hmm. And we also have some bonus tracks to release in the near future. Okay. So let's see, we have like 14 songs ready. Mm -hmm. Okay, so you're not so sure about the track list now? No, 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 no. Okay. we have to. We have some ideas and it's almost ready, but I think we have to decide it during this week. Oh, this? <laughs> yeah, yeah, maybe, yeah. Well, good luck with that. <laughs> let's see, let's see what happens. Okay. It's not so easy. So, well, it's not master, but are you satisfied with the results so far? Yeah, yeah, yeah. There's a couple of really powerful songs. Mm -hmm. We have one really fast song. I'm not sure if it's going to be in the album. Uh, and I think it's something... We, we wanted to do something different. And when we started to rehearse the songs, we... Uh, try to find new ways to uh, compose or practice the songs and uh, we also wanted to have new sounds and uh, so I think this this will be something not completely different but something new elements maybe. Mm -hmm. Okay, and um, so have you found a title? No, no? we have, I think we have two options. Okay. So let's see. <laughs> well, it's still something. So yeah, yeah. yeah. It, again, it's like a, mm, it's like like a theme album again. There's some, there's one story, and uh, so there's like forty poems, and uh, it's, it's a complete story. So, yeah. uh, but I don't want to tell everything now. Yeah. Wow. But, uh, it's an interesting, interesting album. Mm -hmm. Okay, sounds good. <laughs> uh, so, uh, for the recording, um, how did it go? I mean, um, yeah, you, you had this desire to do it differently, to let some outside authority go into 
you know, because it used to ban, it used to be the ban from the mm. So, um, how did it differ for you to have this feature, you know, coming with you um, as a producer? Uh, I think it was two or three years ago in the uh, Finnish Metal Expo here in Helsinki. Mm -hmm. uh, we met Peter and we just talked talked like some something like touring and playing live and shit like this. And uh, then it came up an idea that maybe in the in the future Peter would be one person who could be a producer for us. Because he, he's been in business many times and he's uh, record record lots of bands and he's also produced lots of albums. And uh, he had some ideas like what he would like to do with, with Amorphis, his producer. And uh, when we started to think who would be a perfect uh, guy to produce this album, we just thought Peter would be maybe the best option at this moment because uh, he's living in Sweden, so it's really easy to come to Helsinki or Finland. We wanted to do it here in Finland. And uh, so we called him and he said, of course I want to, it's, it's, it's going to be great. And then, then we just uh, said, that, okay, let's do this. Okay. Um, so, what, well, you choose him, uh, but I suppose you're also, because you trusted him. You yeah, know? of course. You wouldn't let anyone just release it all. Yeah, and he's, we know him back in the day, so. Mm. and. Uh, it's really easy to work with him because he's been in business so many years yeah. and uh, he started his career at the same time when, when Omar started. So, and um, I think it was a good good decision because uh, everything went really smoothly and it was really easy to work with him. Mm -hmm. So was it a natural choice? Yeah, it was really natural and of course we wanted to have like a heavy metal producer because we wanted to be, uh, we wanted this album to sound a little bit heavier than the previous one, and uh, I, didn't, I think it, it ended up really well. Okay, so how was it for you guys as musicians to record this album? How did you prefer from your previous recording sessions? Uh, we wanted to do the whole album as a team because previous times when our drummer Snowy, for example, recorded his drums. He recorded along with the uh, uh, producer. And this time we went to Bolola uh, in the studio and, and we spent it the whole weekend. The whole band was there. So we recorded, we, we hang around the whole weekend there and, and that was something different. We haven't done it before. Yeah. And, uh, it was a great, great uh, weekend, really intense, and uh, it was fun, also. Okay. Well, you should never forget this aspect, you know, having <laughs> yeah, yeah. fun. Yeah. It's work when you yeah. have fun. And so, um, uh, as a musician, did you also want to experience something new to take this new challenge? Um, comparing to previous albums, it was, I read uh, that um, it's a stage that at some point, you know, you always had the same recording and you wanted to do yeah, to, to something different for you. So, as a musician, was it a challenge to um, this way? Yeah, it was, I can't say it was a risk, but it, it was a challenge. And we definitely wanted to do something uh, different. And uh, it's always a good, it's always good to, like, challenge yourself. Of course, when you're starting to work in a new way, you feel like unsure when you're starting to yeah. do things. But uh, it, it's great to have like other opinions, and mm -hmm. it's great to work with different people. I, I've been working with Marco Hietala now four times, and this is the first time working with Peter. And I, and I was like, I didn't know what to expect, but it was different, and uh, it was different in a good way. Mm -hmm. And uh, I'm really happy that we. I think after many years, you all, it's also good to, you know, never be afraid of new experiences yeah. and work with new people. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 
you see things differently with, with other persons and uh, they will maybe find something completely new from the time also. Yeah. yeah. Did you have a thing this happened? Uh, yeah. Yeah. Anyway, yeah. I think the guitar sound is now a little bit different. And, mm -hmm. uh, when I was singing or recording vocals I also use new sounds that I haven't uh, used before. So yeah. for me it was also like uh, something different. <laughs> yeah. So le, yeah, let's tackle uh, the issue of lyrics. So Pekka Kainulainen uh, wrote them again mm, this yeah. time. Um, so can you tell us about uh, the themes without giving away too much detail? Mm. But, I mean, uh, it's a story about uh, a person or a man, mm. and uh, it's not taken straight from the Kalevala, but there are some okay. flashes from, from the Kalevala book. And uh, it's different to say, it's not, I mean, it's difficult to say when it, when this story happens. It's not in the past, it's not in, in this time or in the future, it just happens. And uh, uh, I think it's, what we wanted to do is, what we wanted to have is, uh, was like uh, uh, bringing some old beliefs in nowadays life. Listen or read the album, I, I think you can hear what you wanted to bring out this time. Okay. So, did you give him any guidelines or just let him do what he wanted freely? Or? Uh, no, no, we, we just wanted to take a little step from the way from, from Kalevala this time, mm -hmm. but we didn't want to completely forget this. Yeah. And uh, so, in lyric wise, we all also wanted to have do something time. Okay. But uh, I think you can find the same themes or feelings from, from this story that you can find from other. Okay, so I was wondering how much is the band Amorphis involved in the lyrics because uh, it's no one from the band that you mm. wrote uh, writing the lyrics, so how, how much are you involved in this? Uh, we pretty much trust Pekka because okay. he's been working with us like for a Five, uh, four albums now, mm -hmm. so he he knows what we what kind of lyrics we like. So he's not doing something completely different. Or, um, but personally, I I don't want to give too many ideas because uh, in a way I want to give him a free hands to do what he wants. So that's the only way to get like pure ideas or pure emotions. And uh, actually, he did some poems before we started to record, and we we were not completely satisfied with, with the results. So we had to write something again. Okay. Uh, so the story changed a lot in the beginning, but. Uh, the final version, it's, it's really nice and uh, it's, it's a beautiful story, I think. So you still have a word to say? Yeah, of course, of course, yeah. yeah. Okay. Right, so uh, 